Hey everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I have been asking my guides to assist me in telling me what humanity needs to hear right now and how I can be of service and what message do do people need right now. And the message that I have continuously got over the last week, few days, is reassurance. And that's a big thing right now because with all the things happening, it's hard to, it's, it's not always easy to focus on the outcome. And as we are moving through this dismantling of the old earth, it can feel so heavy. Earth is the worst it's ever been and also the best it's ever been at the exact same time. And you might think, how is that possible? But when we look at the law of polarity and we look at the contrast that is on earth right now, it is being the energy on earth is being stretched so thin that it's going to snap. Most people don't realize that they have a choice when it comes to how they live their life and which what role they play in it as far as, you know, the 3D worlds of fear of, you know, illness of all the things. And then the 5D world that is being created right now of peace, of love, of freedom, of sovereignty. Most people have not realized that they have had a choice. So that is why this is being presented in this way right now. To give, to show people that they have a choice. It's giving them an opportunity to choose differently. It's giving them no option other than to choose what they want. Whenever we have been in a world that has been so confusing and so run down and held pretty much captive, it's easy to just get sucked up in that and stay in those lower vibrations. So as the higher vibrations are coming onto earth, we are seeing so much shift. Good things are happening. And here's how you can tell. Number one, there is so much dark coming to the surface. And that's why it feels so heavy. If, in fact, things weren't happening for the better of humanity, if the light has not already won, we would not be having all of these things come to the surface because these things don't like to come to the surface. They like to stay under. They like to hide, right? This is why things that are coming up now, people have never heard of before, never knew was going on before. The things that are coming up are not new. They are just new to people's knowledge because people are hearing about them maybe for the first time. And as we go through that, it can seem as though this is the worst earth has ever been. On the flip side of that, this is the best, best earth has ever been because it is coming to the surface and it is coming up to be cleared and healed and removed so that humanity can move forward into a better earth. So when you look at it from that perspective, you can see that good things are happening. Exciting times are ahead of us. So, so many exciting times are ahead of us. So much celebration. But we have to move through this phase. We have to move through the unveiling right now in order to get there. So if you think of it, as, as this, as, you know, think of a plant and think of, you know, many people right now, many people right now 
want tangible tangible evidence that that things are turning out for the good right um and and we all want that we all want physical proof that you know <laughs> that we're we're heading towards what we what we've felt we were heading towards for for years now right and if you think of it like this if you think of a plant and you think of the roots and how big the roots are under the surface and then how little of a plant pops up okay so what we're experiencing right now is the roots the roots of the new earth are taking place and how this happens is every time you hear something dark come to the surface that's just more evidence that another root of the good has taken place because it's coming out. It's literally pushing it up to the top, okay? So as all these roots take place for new earth, we're gonna see something pop up, but all the roots have to take place first. And to be quite honest, if all of the light were to just be told to everyone right now, there would be a lot of chaos, a lot more chaos in the world. Why? Because people are not conditioned to accept the light. They are conditioned to accept the dark. So if you were to go to most people right now and tell them five things that are going well right now and one thing that is bad, they would automatically believe the thing that is bad before they would even, they would question, ask so many questions about the one thing or the five things that are, that are right, that are good, that are happening. But they wouldn't question the one thing that was bad. And it's just because of the conditioning that has been played through the media forever. So good things are happening, but you have to seek out the light. Light is not coming through the mainstream media yet. So be patient with people, have compassion for people, and just be an example of what is coming. People will naturally, just by being around you in your energy of confidence, of freedom, of sovereignty, of the new earth energies, people will automatically just, it'll raise questions inside of them that maybe they're not going to ask you, but it will raise questions inside of them that they will seek out answers to. And that is how the energy is shifting on the earth right now. So be mindful also of, of where you are putting your energy, of what. I look at it as portals. Everything is an energy portal. So social media, maybe certain people that you're talking to, even the comment section under certain things, you know, all, all the things, all the things are portals of energy, okay? And you want to be mindful of where you're going because one portal of energy could take you down a really bad road, right? And it could just throw your energy off. So you want to be very protective of your energy right now. And not allow the portals to take you off. So if that means taking a social media break, if that means disconnecting from some people, if that means just taking time for yourself, do what you need to do. I believe that this time is also given to us in this phase of, you know, people are kind of questioning of what is happening, you know, because there's so much confusion and misinformation and disinformation and tiny bit of truth. And, you know, all the things going on out there right now. And people are realizing that they can no longer outsource that power. So I believe that what is happening right now is this, at this time, this, what we're going through right now, is calling everyone to go in and take their power back. You're going to find truth. You're going to find guidance. And you're going to find that confidence within yourself instead of reaching and looking out for it, outsourcing it everywhere else, trying to find it on the news, trying to find it through this person, through that person. 
This is teaching us something. So take the time that you need to do that and see where you end up. But good things are happening. And that, <laughs> that's, that sprout will come to the surface. In fact, it's going to be an endless amount of sprouts that are going to come to the surface. But right now the roots are taking place. They've been taking place for the last four years, for even before that. This was a divine plan that has been put into action. And they are taking place. The roots are expanding. So remember that whenever more dark things come to the surface. Okay? And remember, if the dark had won, they would still be hidden. Okay, so as we move through this, just be mindful of that. Give yourself the care and the space that you need to digest and move through. Okay, this is very heavy right now. Very heavy right now. And it requires a lot of self-care. And for light workers especially, we know our job has just barely begun. So it's only going to get more intense, and, and I'm not saying in a bad way, but more intense in a good way of, of stepping up and serving humanity. So I send you all love and light, and I am thankful for each and every one of you that are anchoring in the light, that are holding, holding faith, holding your trust, holding your confidence, and are waiting for, for the new world. I will talk to you guys soon.